Hello, uh, consider equation number 8. The equation says that uh, there is a bar that stays on a mo uh, motionless condition in a lake and there is an electric motor which is affixed on this deck and it is pulling uh, a block. So, there is a block that is being pulled um, by using uh, inextensible light string. The coefficient of friction between the block and the uh, deck has been given as 0.2 and the lake is not offering any resistance. So, in the picture this is liquid water that is lake and that is uh, the arrangement that is called barge and on this barge uh, there is a motor connected and there is a block placed over here. And this surface is frictionally a friction surface and its friction coefficient is mu which is 0.2. It further says the mass of the bars has been known to us uh, including the motor uh, 200 kg and that of block is 50 kg. When the motor is switched on, the motor is going to pull the block by a constant force of 150 Newton. After 4 seconds, the motor is switched off. We need to find the displacement of the block on the deck. Also, we need to draw the velocity versus time graph considering g as 10. So, we will solve this question. So, let us say the mass of this uh, bars including uh, this motor is capital M and the block is a small m. So, capital M is going to be equal to 200 kg and a small m is going to be equal to 50 kg as per the given information. Now, in solution we can uh, make some boundaries. Uh, to solve them separately. First, we will be solving this uh, up to 4 seconds. Then for the time it uh, has motion relatively and then after we will draw the graph. So, let us say in this column we are going to consider the time which is running from 0 onwards up to 4 seconds. Now, uh, let us uh, think about certain points. Uh, if we draw the free body diagram of this or if we look at the forces on this, then you will find there is going to be uh, forces acting by this string force that is going to be pulled over here. The motor is going to be pulled away like this, the force F that has been given to us. Moreover, there is going to be frictional force acting in the backward direction on the block and forward direction on the deck. So, if you consider both together, then you will find uh, these are all internal forces. So, there is no external force acting in the horizontal direction because it is not offering any resistance. So, we can claim certain point like you no know, external force in the x direction. So, we can say in x direction, uh, there will be conservation of linear momentum or in other terms, we can say the center of mass will be moving with a constant velocity. Then after we will see that initially everything was at rest. So, that constant velocity is going to be 0 which means center of mass will not be moving from its position. Now, if we can find out how much this block moves on uh, with respect to ground, then we can find out how much this uh, barge moves or this deck moves with respect to ground. And then we can apply the condition for center of mass. So, let us first consider for 4 seconds and let us consider the free body diagram of block. Now, if we consider the free body diagram of block with respect to ground, so we will find it will be subjected by a force F, then there is going to be acting a friction force F, there is going to be gravitational force mg, small mg there is going to be normal force upside. This will cause some acceleration. Let us say that acceleration is A. Now, we solve we will find that F minus as per the Newton equation F minus F should be equal to M into A. From here, we can calculate the value of A. A is going to be equal to F minus frictional force. How much the frictional force is going to be? Mu into normal relation. How much the normal relation is? Which is small mg. So, this divided by small m. Now, all numbers are known to us. We can find this value A. A is going to be F the force which is 150 Newton minus mu is 0.2, M is 50, G is 10, 
divided by mass which is 50. If we simplify then you will find this number is going to be uh, basically 100. So, 50 minus 150 minus 100 is going to be 50 and divide by 50 will become 1 meter per second square. So, 1 meter per second square is going to be the acceleration of the block up to 4 seconds. Now, if this is the acceleration, so at 4 seconds what the velocity it is going to acquire, let us call this as acceleration A1 because uh, there is a block as well as there is a uh, dig. So, uh, let us say it's, it acquires velocity v1 after 4 second. So, what the velocity is going to be, v, since this acceleration is a constant, we can apply the first equation of motion, uh, which is v is equal to u plus at. Initial velocity was 0 plus acceleration, which is 1 into t, which is 4, that will give us 4 meter per second. How much the displacement it is going to cause in one second? So, uh, in, in four seconds, so we can say x1 is equal to ut plus half at square. U t is 0, half is half is 1 t that is 4 square. So, that is going to be 16 by 2 that means 8 meter. Now, these are the informations regarding block. Now, we can uh, draw the free body diagram of the remaining portion. We can also solve their them using the um, uh, this acceleration velocity and position. Also, we can say that uh, center of mass is not moving, linear momentum conservation is there. So, using that we can find uh, v and x which we need to find out. So, let us uh, talk about this bars. So, about bars we can have informations like this. We can say uh, linear momentum conservation or center of mass should not move uh, based on that both are the same points. So, let us call linear momentum conservation. This will say capital M, the velocity, let us say that velocity is V2 minus small m velocity V1. This should be equal to 0. That means, 0 is the initial linear momentum that when nothing was moving and this is the final linear momentum that means four second at 4 second. So, they will be moving in the opposite direction. So, uh, if v1 is in the this direction and v2 is in this direction, so we have taken v1 as a negative, v2 as a positive. Now, from here we can calculate the v2 magnitude. So, how much the v2 is going to be? v2 should be small m divided by capital M into v1 small m was 50, capital M was 200 and V1 is, we have calculated it as a 4. So, you will find this V2 came out to be 1 meter per second. That means, at 4 second, the bar is moving uh, 1 meter per second velocity. How much the displacement it will occur or have with respect to ground? So, let us call x2. So, we can say like again m x2 is equal to m x1. How we are getting this? We can claim that the center of mass is not moving, so center of mass position should remain the same. So, this will lead to that capital M or basically x2 is going to be is equal to again small m by capital M that means 1 by 4 times x1. How much x1 was? x1 was 8. So, 8 into 1 by 4 that is basically 2 meter. So, we will say uh, the displacement of bars is going to be 2 meter, the velocity of uh, bars is going to be 1 meter per second at the end of 4 second. Now, after this uh, time, you switched off the motor. So, when the motor is switched off, then you will find this force will disappear. Then block will have retardation. So, let us talk about that time. So, in the second column, we will work when the time is greater than or equal to 4 second and we can remove this equality because we are strictly more than 4 second scenario. Okay. As the motor has been switched off, then the block uh, will have little different FBD. So, let us draw the, in that FBD you will find there is going to be friction force acting. It will be moving in this direction, velocity will be in this direction. So, uh, and rest forces will be mg and the normal reaction, this will cause, this will cause 
uh, retardation. So, let us say that retardation is uh, a 1 dash. Now, we will find this a 1 dash is going to be nothing but f by m. Now, f we have calculated or we can say it is going to be mu m g. So, it ultimately turns at mu g. So, this a 1 dash come out to be 2 meter per second square. Why 2? Because mu is 0.2, g is 10. So, it has become 2. Calculation you can manage. Now, if this is the retardation, so we can find out uh, when the velocity is going to be 0. Why we are interested in 0? Because we know the initially linear momentum was 0. Then finally, also it should be 0 uh, because uh, or, or at any instant of time, it should be 0. When the bars, uh, when, when this uh, block stops on this deck, then deck should also stop. That is the point. If bar, a block is moving, then deck is moving. Why? If they are moving, they should have the velocities such that their linear momentum is nullified. If one stops, another has to stop. And not, neither this can be happen like this block is stopped and the together they are moving in the same direction. If this is the case, that means the final system will have some linear momentum. And we know the linear momentum has to be 0 because initially it was 0. So, it concludes that both should stop simultaneously. So, let us say uh, when this block stops. So, we are interested to find that time after this 4 second. So, let us say uh, we are right that final velocity is going to be 0. Initial velocity we had how much this was 4. So, that is going to be v 1 basically minus a 1 dash t dash. Let us say t dash is talking about the time after 4 second. So, this t dash is going to be equal to v 1 divided by a dash or a 1 dash. v 1 was 4, a 1 dash is 2, that means it is 2 second. Now, this 2 second is the time after 4 second. So, if we denote the time from 0 onwards by t, so we can say t is going to be 6, that means 4 plus 2. So, after this situation, it will take 2 minutes, uh, 2 seconds uh, for this block to stop. As soon as the block stops, bars stops. Okay, so, final velocity of uh, block will become uh, 0, we can think of and bars will become 0. Now, we need to find the displacement. Let us say that displacement is x 1 dash. So, this x 1 dash is going to be equal to the displacement covered in these 2 seconds. So, initial velocity will be we having like v 1 and the time will be t dash and it is going to be minus half a 1 dash t 1 dash square. Basically, s is equal to t plus half a d square we are writing. Now, initial velocity has to be written as 4, t has to be written as 2 minus half, acceleration has to be written as uh, this 2. This is a retardation, so we have placed minus earlier and the time is 2, so that is going to be 2 square. If you simplify, it is going to like 8 minus this number, which is 4, which came out to be 4 meter. So, it means like it is traveling 4 meter in the direction where it was traveling earlier. Now, come to the barge. To get the numbers or information about barge, we will be applying the same thing that means linear momentum conservation as well as center of mass position not changing. Now, linear momentum conservation will say the velocities and we have got the final velocity is going to be 0. Now, if we want the final position, so we can say or displacements, we can say m displacement, let us say that displacement is x 2 dash is equal to small m the displacement which is x 1 dash. So, this x 2 dash is going to be equal to small m by capital M x 1 dash. Now, small m by capital M is 1 by 4 and x 1 dash we have calculated as 4. So, this came out to be 1 meter that means bars is going to be moving 1 meter further. Making sense? Now, now we can answer the question whatever the question has asked. So, we have analyzed for 0 to 4 second then more than 4 second basically 4 to 6 second because it, it takes 2 more second to travel then everything stops. Now, question is asking determine the displacement of the block. So, what is the total displacement of the block? So, we can find the total displacement of the block is with respect to ground displacement of block with respect to ground is um, earlier it was moving x 1 then it was moving x 1 dash. 
So it's basically x1 plus x1 dash, which is basically 8 plus 4, which is basically 12 meter. And displacement of barge. So if we are interested in displacement of barge, then you'll find this displacement is going to be basically x2 plus x2 dash. Now x2 was, uh, we have calculated it, it was uh, 2 meter and x2 dash came out to be 1 meter. So that is 2 plus 1, basically 3 meter. Now we need to find the displacement of block with respect to dig or barge. So uh, that's a relative. Now you see uh, this displacement, the displacement of uh, block is, has been in this direction, whereas that of uh, bars has been in this direction. So they are in the opposite direction. So what is the relative displacement? So we can say relative displacement, relative displacement will have a value by subtracting them, this vector minus this vector or that vector minus this vector. Accordingly, we can write, since we need to find the magnitude, so we can find out magnitude. We need to find the relative displacement of what? Block with respect to barge. So we need to find the that of block with respect to barge. So this barge will give its displacement in the backward direction. So total displacement will come in this leftward direction and it's going to be 12 plus 3 in leftward direction, which basically add up to 15 meter. So we can answer that the total displacement is 15 meter and it is towards left. At the same time, we need to plot uh, velocity versus time graph for bars. So we can draw that graph as well. So here is the list of velocity and in this dimension we are using time for bars. So that's the velocity that is time, velocity is in meter per second, time is in second and this is for barge. Now how it moving the velocity, it's barge is moving with a constant acceleration because block is moving with a constant acceleration. So velocity increasing, increasing from 0 up to 1 meter per second and this up occurs at 4 seconds. So at 4 seconds its velocity reaches to 1 and it starts from 0. So we can say it starts from 0 goes to this as a straight line up to this one. Then after there is going to be further 2 seconds that is 6 and it, it stops there that means again it decreases with a constant acceleration. Why constant acceleration? Because it was having constant A value so it is also going to have a constant A value because we can also apply M1 A1 da dash is equal to M2 A2 dash. Okay? So this will become the graph of uh, velocity versus time for barge. So these are our final answers. So these are our final answers. Okay. Thank you.